This is the Pine AFG2 Gyratory Compactor. It is a laboratory machine that is used in making super pave asphalt specimens for the design of asphalt mixtures. This video will demonstrate some of the safety features incorporated into the design of the Pine AFG2. To operate the machine, asphalt mixture is placed in an oven and heated to a temperature of approximately 300 degrees Fahrenheit. The mixture required to make a typical specimen weighs about 6 to 10 pounds. A stainless steel mold is also heated to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. The asphalt mixture is placed into the mold. The filled mold is placed into the compaction chamber of the G2. The output of the gyratory compaction process is a compacted asphalt specimen. Various laboratory tests are performed on the specimen after it is compacted. One key test is to measure the specimen's density to determine the percentage of air voids it contains. The mold is placed in the compaction chamber and secured to the gyrating base of the G2 by two integral clamps. Once the mold is clamped into place, the mold top is installed at the top of the machine. The mold top is held down by three clamps, which are tightened by means of rotating handles. A proximity sensor detects the presence and position of the mold top. A magnetic sensor detects the door position. The machine will not start unless the mold top is in place and the door is closed. The LEDs on the front panel indicate when the machine is ready to operate. When the machine is ready, the operator presses a button to begin compaction. Pressure is applied to the specimen via an electrically actuated ram that comes up from the bottom of the machine. The force applied to the specimen is typically 2,383.6 pounds of force. Once the specimen comes to pressure, the swivel frame of the machine gyrates about the central axis, imparting an angle of 1.25 degrees to the specimen. When the desired number of gyrations has been completed, the compaction will stop and the machine will relieve the pressure from the specimen. The operator then removes the mold top to prepare for extrusion of the specimen. The specimen is extruded from the mold by pressing and holding the up button. If the operator releases the button, the machine motion will stop immediately. The specimen is pressed out of the mold and emerges from the top of the machine. When the specimen has been fully extruded, it is removed and set aside. The operator then presses either the start or the down button to return the ram to its start position. When the ram is parking, it may be stopped by pressing the e-stop button or by opening the door. When the ram has finished parking, all motion stops automatically. Inside the machine, the base plate swivels the mold about its vertical axis while the ram applies pressure to the specimen from below. Note that the door switch has been bypassed in this video clip to show the motion more clearly. There is a potential pinch point here but the motion is relatively slow and under normal conditions no motion is possible with the door open. There are three ways of stopping the machine during a test. If the emergency stop button is pressed, all motion will cease immediately. Opening the compaction chamber door will also make the machine come to a complete stop. And if the machine detects that the mold top has come loose or out of place, all motion will stop. The front panel LCD and indicator LEDs will inform the operator which of these conditions has occurred. The operator may choose to restart the test or to abort it. All moving parts on the outside of the machine are covered by metal guards. There are several warning labels on the machine to notify the operator of potential hazards. As the specimen is extruded, 
and it's rising relative to the stationary parts of the machine, a pinch point is created between the specimen and the top plate of the machine. Injury to the operator can result if the operator's fingers are placed into the top opening before the specimen begins to emerge. A label warns of this danger. The ram moves up at a slow rate of speed in this mode. The operator must keep the up button depressed to move the ram. If the button is released, the ram will stop immediately. Another pinch point exists inside the compaction chamber at the swivel base. There is a warning label here, however the machine will not move with the door open. The stepper motors may get hot during operation. A label warns of this condition. There are high voltages contained in the rear control enclosure. A screwdriver is required to open the enclosure door. All power to the rear enclosure may be disconnected by removing the main power cord from the power cord entry port. Precautions regarding all potential safety hazards are clearly detailed in the operation manual. Reading the manual is highly recommended. Dimensional factors that may impact safety and ergonomics are Weight of the mold top, 18 pounds. Weight of mold, 27 pounds. Weight of typical specimen, 6 to 10 pounds. Weight of the charged mold, 33 to 37 pounds, depending on the size of the specimen. Temperature of the asphalt mixture and the molds, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Height of the main working surface of the machine, 33.5 inches. Height of the top surface of the machine, 48.5 inches. Force required to lift the machine for relocation, 65 pounds. This concludes the Pine AFG2 safety features demo. Thank you for watching.